Have you ever wanted to input your output so that you could output your output? Well, if that's the case, stick around to learn a little bit more about the output input available in vMix. G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here. This video is about the output input that's now available in vMix 25 and future releases. It allows you to use your vMix program output as an input in your production. We've had people over the years ask for this so that they can create custom multi-views and layered outputs that include your program output. For example, some producers like to send their vMix callers a layered input that has their cameras and any other assets that they might want the caller to see. But they also want to actually be able to include their fully produced production so that their caller knows exactly what's happening on the show. And you can now do this using the output input in vMix 25 and beyond. Now, because this is more of a professional option, this is only available in vMix 4K, Pro, and Max. And our legal team has requested that I play the following video. The following presentation is a really specific training video and contains content that may be considered advanced for some users and not advanced for other users. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can add the output input in vMix. So here I am in the vMix interface. I've got the latest version of vMix 25, although it might be slightly different by the time you get to watch this video. So what I need to do is go down to the add input section, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. However, don't click on the button just yet. We're going to go to the little sub menu next to it using this little arrow. So that's gonna open up a couple of little hidden pro features that we have in vMix, including the mix input and now the output input. So I'm just gonna click on output here. So that's going to open up a new input that is gonna display the output from vMix. Now, the way that the vMix renders the previews and the input previews down here, it's gonna be about a frame behind what you actually see in the output. However, when you actually use this input as a part of a multi-view or an output, it's going to be real time from what you see on this output here. All right, so let's just show a quick example now. So let's go down here to the previews and if I click the little one underneath my title, you can see that it now appears as a part of this output input. And obviously it's on my output here. So I can move this up to the preview here and you can also see it available here. Now, one thing is never ever use this output input as a part of your program output. Never switch to this. It's gonna cause you all sorts of issues um, with your production. I'm not gonna break vMix, but it's gonna cause you problems. So don't ever put your output input in your actual program output. Now I'm gonna show you how you might use it as a part of something like a vMix call output. So firstly, we need to create a layered input that we can add this new input to. So I'm just gonna click on this little arrow down here. As you can see, it's easy to grab a blank input like so. Then I'm gonna to go to the settings here and go to the layers tab. And I'm gonna select four different things that I wanna send my vMix caller. So I'm gonna go to this video, this video and I'm going to send them my output now. And I'm just gonna display that in a quad box like so. So as you can see now, I now have my um, quad box set up with my camera, my videos and my output. So if I do overlay this now, you will see it in my output and you'll also see it in this output input here, which is really cool. All right, so what I'm going to do now is set up an output to use this input here. So I'm gonna go down to the settings down here and click on the little gear icon and I'm gonna select output two and then select my input number seven, which is my quad box. So I'm gonna select that like so. So now when I use my external two output, it's going to be this here. So let's go to add input and go down to video call. And so if I was setting up a call for someone, I would now select my video source to my guest as output two, and it will include that quad box that I have here. So that's how you can use the output input in vMix. It's one of those things that you're gonna to have to play around with and test, test, test again. Obviously the three rules of live streaming just to make sure that it's going to work for you and it's going to work how you think it should work for your production. Again, don't ever send that output input to your program output when using vMix. So if you do have any questions about the output input, please send us an email via the contact page on vMix.com. If you'd like to try out vMix, you can find a free 60-day trial of vMix Pro on our website. You just need to download it and enter your email address to start using for 60 days. All right, so thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.